office plans to follow up with uh, both of those agencies, both the district attorney, the courts, and uh, I should also say the public defenders, to see what we can do about making sure that we get people to where they're supposed to be, but we don't unnecessarily transport them and incur higher overtime costs. I, I think it was a very cooperative meeting with the sheriff. Uh, once again, the sheriff took the leadership in his organization he's heard the message from the board of supervisors and he's working with our office to try and monitor those expenses supervisor Dover. thank you mr mitchell i appreciate that but my comments are more general in terms not limited to the sheriff's office there's we have many other departments as well that are showing up here with abnormal amounts thank you okay. we'll Super reinforce that in our meeting with department heads next week Supervisor Smith. Thank you, Mr. Chair. A couple questions for Ms. Wyatt. Um, if we could go to the summary recap uh, section and the total percentage year to date of expenditures 0809 adopted budget, and you were saying that the targeted amount or what you were looking for is that this should be less than 25%. Yes, I was using that as a benchmark, yes. Okay, that's the benchmark. Um, so maybe you could take us through some of these that 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 have significant overages, and, and let's talk a little bit about those. Um, now, I'm reading on page 2, 1620, the county garage is at 279%. And I know that we, we there are certain things with respect to vehicles that we didn't fund this year in the budget, but I think that we ought to, you know, we need to take a look at it. Uh, my recollection from the county, from our budget budget process this year, that one of the, the I think, the under-discussed and under-analyzed by the Board of Supervisors this, this fiscal year, meaning this budgetary year, was the General Services Administration that really had a number of overages in, the, in our last fiscal year that I don't think this board really scrutinized or looked at very carefully. So we're looking here now at the county garage at, I believe it, if I'm reading it correctly, 279%. So maybe you could take us through this column okay. in red and not the ones that are, you know, anything over 30%, I would say we ought to, we ought to, Discuss. I mean, along the lines of Supervisor Delbar's comments, that we, you know, that the board has concerns in both um, extra help uh, expenditures and overtime, because those are two key large dollar amounts that have uh, been looked at, you know, every which way for for a number of years, and become something that the board needs to scrutinize more carefully with the, with the kind of fiscal constraints that we have. So maybe you could just reference this, the county garage line item, and then take us through others that, you know, maybe go over 30 percent. Okay, well, I don't have the actual um, reports that came out of Munis to, but I did on the detail report give you um, the detailed look if you look at the detail of the county garage you will see the breakdown for with the one for the 1000 2000 3000 series um, and you will see with the county garage that in their 1000 series um, they are within the 25 percent benchmark um, let's see Within the 2000 series, um, overall, they look like they're within the 25% benchmark. Um, but I would assume that this would probably be. Just one moment, let me look at this. Hold on. I believe this is um, charges that are cost applied and part of the reason why the expenditures look like they're overstated for 
um, 279% is because some of the charges were um, posted in the first quarter, which happened only like at the very beginning of the fiscal year. And um, the revenue hasn't, I mean, the expenditures will not be additional, there will not be additional charges throughout the next fiscal, the remainder of the fiscal year. So that's, so that's, so that's kind of a skewed number, basically, for the garage. But it, it still looks that we would have a budgetary issue or problem if the final bud budget adopted is 57,000, but total actual expenditures so far 162,000. Obviously, we've got some kind of something that needs to be addressed in a, in, in a significant way. Who knows if it's overtime, extra right. help, or something else. So right. I think we need more information on what. Well, because what happens is with the garage is um, at the beginning of the quarter, as this is first quarter, by they, they haven't had applied all of their cost and their charge outs to the departments. Okay. So in second quarter, you'll see that dramatically change. Okay. So that's why when I kind of said in my summary that some of these, this 25 benchmark can't easily be looked at it's in total, different. and that's the reason. As well as some of these other expenditures that might happen, I think I s reported in the miscellaneous budget as well. Um, the yeah. auditor posts an uh, annual charge that happens in an annual expenditure that happens in that budget, and um, that only happens on an annual basis.